There are up to 400 billion stars in our galaxy. And there are two trillion galaxies in our universe. But it wasn't always that way. We are living in the age of stars. An era of light in the universe. Stars have always been important to us. They have helped us navigate the land and the open seas for millennia. If you just think back at the countless sonnets and poems and songs, there is always some kind of celestial connection. One of the reasons why looking up into the stars is so significant is because we realize that others are doing the same exact thing. And so in a very real way, we feel connected to, to people both, both past and present. From our fleeting human perspective, the stars seem everlasting. A constant in our night sky. But seen across the age of the universe, the picture changes. Because this era cannot last the stars will eventually wane. And as they go, they once again change the character of the universe. Their cores, where fusion once raged, cool. and eventually solidify, locking precious elements away beneath the surface and starving the universe of the material needed to make new stars and planets. The chance that a star is gonna be born nowadays is, is much, much lower than it was billions of years in the past. Just as there was a very first star in the universe, there will come a time when the era of stars will come to an end. The age of stars is not as enduring as it might seem. I have here a timeline of the universe, and I'm here at the start when the universe formed 13.8 billion years ago during the Big Bang. Now, it took a while for the first stars to form, in fact, a few hundred million years. Let's call that 400 million years. So on my scale, stars start to form here, and those stars carried on forming, and then we reached this point here, four billion years since the Big Bang, and a time when the most stars are forming in the universe. Our sun, though, didn't form until nine billion years had passed, and that's my marker here. And then we move forward again, and we get to this point here, which is the present day, 13.8 billion years since the formation of the universe. Now, our sun won't live forever, and in fact, it will start to die, and end its life in around five billion years time. But the sun will be outlived by the least massive stars in the universe. They have lifetimes of a few hundred billion years. And that's about 200 meters on my scale. But even when those stars die, that doesn't mark the end of the universe. The universe could live forever with the timeline stretching far off into the distance. And that means that the age of starlight that I've mapped out here 
is like the blink of an eye to the universe. It's the age of darkness that goes on and on and on. Stars won't suddenly disappear, of course. They'll be here for hundreds of billions, perhaps even trillions of years to come. But slowly, over time, the universe will become darker, emptier. <laughs> 